So I've reached Union level 40, and I think it's a good time to talk about what I did, what I would do differently, and why you might be doing things wrong. I am playing this game free to play for as long as possible, and playing it semi-casually to a certain degree because I have a full-time job and I'm managing other things, so my playtime compared to a bunch of other content creators and streamers is much lower than them. And so I can probably give a pretty decent perspective on how to do things on a more casual basis and how you can do resource management that way. So let's just dive into it. So one of the big things about playing this game a little bit more casually and free to play is that a lot of content creators and streamers that are playing this a lot more hardcore are farming echoes pretty hardcore already, spending their energy on tacit fields and recommending people to do that already. And I say that is possibly not the right way to go with things just because energy is such a precious resource. And if you are unable to spend a lot of time playing the game, you're better better off using your energy on things that are a little bit more guaranteed. And what I mean by that is that when you're farming echoes, you're doing the tacit fields. The echoes that you're getting are very RNG dependent on whether or not they're going to be useful for the characters that you are currently building. Whereas if you were to use your energy on leveling up characters, getting ascension materials and leveling up their weapons, uh, you're guaranteed to get those materials for the respective characters and weapons and will buff them in a more guaranteed fashion than farming for echoes through tacit fields. That being said, finding farming for ascension materials for your characters also gets you echoes. Not necessarily the right ones, but you can definitely abuse the pity system on those bosses to end up getting the echoes that you want for your specific character. And hopefully by the time this is out, I'll have a video talking about that using using Calchero as an example. So yeah, that's kind of what I wanted to say. This is definitely um, kind of more for ca more casual people or people with limited amount of time to play. It's like, don't really bother about echoes at the moment. You'll get them just playing the game normally eventually, uh, but trying to farm tacit fields using up your energy when you could be progressing your characters in a more guaranteed way to get them stronger is, is probably not the better way to go because RNG is a thing. Using off pieces that give the right main stat is the definite is definitely the way to go first, especially for the cost three. We're getting the right echo with the right main stat is relatively higher than the echo cost four echoes as for cost four echoes you'll be getting a bunch of them naturally just by farming ascension materials and you'll be able to find ones with the right means that level those up to get your crit rate crit damage obviously at the current moment with the lack of crit rate weapons um crit rate main stat echoes are going to be a higher priority at the current moment but even more important than those echoes i think the cost three with the right main stats gives a more higher damage boost and if you're just starting off or you haven't really bothered with echoes yet going three 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 with the right main stat not necessarily even doing like a two piece set is going to end up being better if you level up that echo just to get that damage percentage up and is kind of what i am currently doing uh so for example my shisha who is not really leveled up all that much um i was a little lucky where i can do a two piece two piece set with giving it some fusion as well as some energy recharge which is not too bad but essentially i'm just doing a four four piece set not a five piece kind of situation where all of it at the current moment is all fusion and i have one little energy cost there just to get her uh burst up or her ultimate up a little better and just to kind of get the pair ing up so now i have three pieces although currently not leveled giving the fusion damage so that ends up just being uh better than trying to force your way into like a four four one 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 set for example because fusion damage or element damage bonus it just ends up being um a little better um especially in the early game uh but yeah just to conclude things if that was just a little bit too complicated or me just going around in circles if you're a more casual player or free to play take people's guides of people that are playing this game much more hardcore with a bit of a grain of salt because the way they're playing things whether they are hardcore or hardcore pay to win or people that spend money they are going at a much different pace than you are doing take it at your own pace uh, focus on leveling up your characters ascending them and your weapons and your skills and echoes will come along the way and kind of is rng dependent and i wouldn't even bother farming for echoes until you hit union level 40 because at that point because at that point you are now at union level 40 that is when you go from having 50 percent uh five star to 50 uh, 50 
50-50 chance to an 80-20 chance, which is a heck of a lot better because now I'm going to be getting a lot more five star echoes this way. And it definitely gives you a higher chance of getting better echoes that way. So yeah, that's what this video is all about. Let me know what you think in the comments down below on whether or not you think this is a wise idea or not. I'm looking forward to reading all your comments. But until then, adieu and goodbye.